Welcome back. Fox 44's Brian Glenn went a little bit out of a field trip today. He headed out to give us a behind the scenes look at the Mel King operation. It's not very often I find myself in a field filled with cows, but that's exactly where I'm at right now. I'm with Craig Miller. I'm back here at Mill King. And if you take a look behind us, we've got about what? 20 so cows back there hanging out? There's about 20 cattle there, and there's about 20 more that you don't see. The rest of them are sitting in that field of sorghum, and that's what these girls primarily eat during the summertime. It's like candy land out there to them. Uh, it's sweet, it's good, and uh, good milk comes from good feed. There you go, and the food's about a, as tall as they are, actually. They're out here hanging out. So from here, they go where? They're going to go to the milk barn. We're going to milk them and then that milk will go into the processing center. All right, girls, let's go. It's time to move on out. Let's just do it. Okay, we're inside the area where they bottle the milk. This is so interesting. What's going on? They're about to put processed milk inside the jugs. Um, this is our 1%, and these two ladies are about to demonstrate. Go ahead, turn it on. Go ahead, go ahead and let's turn this on. We'll get a great idea what it takes to make a gallon of milk. Craig, I'll pull you over here and let you describe exactly what's going on right now. So this bottle is, we're labeling it, we're filling it, we're capping it, and we're dating it. And then it goes through to the cooler room where we're gonna case back it, and then palletize it, and it goes out the door. Typically, how, how long each date is this process going on? Is this something you do once a day, all day long? This, well, these ladies will be here for eight hours every day. Well, it's very, very interesting. And I got to say, it's nice and cool inside here, which is nice in the summertime. And also, obviously, all the safety standards are in place as well. Correct. 100% up to USDA code. Okay, so if you're in Central Texas, you want to get your hands on one of these gallons of milk, how do they do that? Well, we have several uh, distributors. Uh, if you're looking to wholesale purchase, and we have several uh, uh, companies in the Waco area uh, that you could come to, for instance, Drug Emporium at the Heritage Store, um, Jubilee Market, and Temple, you can go to the natural grocers. Here we go. Come get uh, some milk, and guess what? Get some cookies as well, as you probably need that to enjoy this Milk King milk. 